Hello everyone and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 4. This is part 6 where we left off last time finishing off Act 3 with a just a huge mind-blowing episode where we got a lot of revelations, a lot of cool details, um, all told from Big Mama herself aka Eva and we got to see uh, what happened to the corpse of Big Boss in the end um, and then Ocelot or should I say Liquid, having full control over the system and showing his power. So, reason why I'm on the main menu is because as soon as I'll load in, it'll take me into the Act 4 mission briefing, and then we have Act 4 waiting for us. So guys, join me on this journey. Let's get right into it. I'm so excited to get into Act 4 as we push through further into the story uh, and, and see what see what happens because I am I am absolutely loving this so far it's been such a great time so hopefully it continues we got a new new image we got the wolf now on the loading screen the next PMC so Drebin came and picked us up took us back to our friends so we can have a mission briefing on the plane at night time. Oh, She's learning. What does that represent? The two, the two yolks in the egg becoming one. When two become one. And she's singing the same tune but with different lyrics now. Man, if only Naomi didn't go and leave. So this could happen. She was so good to Sunny, what the hell? <laughs> Cute. We'll launch a stealth nuclear warhead. Oh yeah. I thought you couldn't control the nuke with GW. We can't. Otacon is We've taken here. Over their guns and heavy weapons, but the WMDs are still under JD's control. That's where Rex comes in. I know where to find nukes they don't control. Vamp, how long until Rex is ready? All that's left is the final check. Rex. We've identified JD's location through GW and abandoned 20th century satellite orbit, disguised as debris. A clever place to hide. Hmm, satellite orbit. With a stealth nuke, there's no need to worry about the Patriots intercepting it. By the time they realize what's happening, it'll all be over. Once JD, the core AI is destroyed, GW's priority will rise to one. And all the systems under JD's control will then be ours to command. Now go, prepare our haven. Yes, bro. <laughs> what the devil is this? Oh, Otacon, why would you just hang out right behind Naomi? <laughs> oh, he's made another one. The Mark III. The video feed from the Mark II cuts off here. <laughs> Why'd you get yourself caught like that, hanging around Naomi's legs? Even. Yeah. Oh, uh, we got a. Saying something about that. We got a Mark III, baby. In the beginning, the Patriot system was controlled by four AIs, with JD at the top. One of those AIs was GW. The Patriots thought it had been destroyed, but Liquid was able to use it as cover to slip inside the system. GW. I heard that name before. Yeah. G 
GW was one of the Patriot Cell AIs. Yeah. It was installed on Arsenal gear. Emma's worm should have put it permanently out of commission. But Liquid somehow recovered and repaired it. I'm getting oh, the bandage on Snake's face. Able to recognize GW, even though it's inside the Patriot system. It's a blind spot. GW was written off as lost while it was still tied in. Using it let Liquid interfere with the AI from the inside. He made contact under the guise of Big Boss's genetic code. Even the AI threat detection system was fooled. Haven on the network. Free from oversight by the Patriots' AIs. It all makes sense now. That's why they made Arsenal go berserk five years ago. GW was on board. Where is this Aiden? <clears throat> oh, these are the figures. Don't worry. Mei Ling is using the position of the Mark II's last transmission to predict the course of Liquid's ship. It's only a matter of time before we find him. <coughs> Moses. How did Otacon not pick up on Rex? He's literally the one who worked on it. <laughs> the US military systems are all in Liquid's hands now. The regional systems have all been shut down. Guns are falling silent across the earth. It's the first total ceasefire in human history. How's the White House responding? The public? The president has yet to make an official announcement. But the media is starting to pick up on it. <coughs> the information's gonna be controlled anyway. <laughs> Not this time. The war economy is ground to a complete halt. It's tough to play down a crisis of these proportions. War economy related stocks are already going into a free fall. <clears throat> they must be shitting themselves at the White House right about now. <laughs> In any case, America had better sleep soundly while she still can. Liquid's insurrection is about to begin. The first thing he'll do is trying to destroy the system that Patriots built to control the U.S. He's already taken the system. No. Supreme Authority still resides with JD, which the Patriots still command. Which is why Liquid plans to launch a nuclear strike on JD in its orbit. But Liquid only controls SOP. And SOP only controls guns and small firearms. Unless he gains supreme authority, Liquid can't use America's nukes and ballistic missiles. So how's he gonna launch this strike? <coughs> Good question. The U.S. converted its nuclear arsenal to reliable replacement warheads two years ago. RRWs. Yes. The core of the RRWs is now completely ID controlled by the SOP system. You'd need supreme authority from JD itself to control them, and they can be shut down remotely in case of an emergency. All the old nukes were pulled out of service when they deployed the replacements. If Liquid can't use the nukes, then. And what's his plan? That's it. Rex. He's going to use Rex. What? 
Rex was scrapped before the Sons of the Patriot system was implemented. Of course. The rail garden. Indeed. Rex's railgun can launch a stealth nuclear warhead into space, unconstrained by the system. In short, it's the only device they have that is able to launch a nuke. Liquid's going to use it to kill JD and deliver the coup de grace to the Patriots' reign. Campbell, where's Rex now? I think you know. A long-forgotten base in U.S. territory outside the Patriots' control. The place where Liquid made his debut. His monument. Off the Alaskan coast, in the Fox Archipelago. Shadow Moses. Shadow Moses Island. Dude! If Liquid destroys JD, and his GW assumes total control over the system, He'll have the world at his fingertips. And no one will be able to stop him. Not even the Patriots. You are the only ones who can save us now. Snake, I'm counting on you. Defeat Liquid and put an end to his insurrection. We're going to back to Shadow Moses Island, baby. Oh, taking it all the way back to the beginning. In prime form, too. <laughs> Better than ever. Ah, look at all the stab marks he's got. Enough is enough, Snake. You can't take any more of this. I'm not dead yet. That's not uh, what I mean. You can't beat Liquid. Uh, He's got the Patriots' own control system on his side. Not only are weapons useless, but the U.S. military is in shambles. And even if it weren't, Liquid's got enough men and machines to match it. Things can't get any worse. Face it, Snake. We've lost. Otacon. <coughs> we never stood a chance. <laughs> it's not about winning or losing. I... No, we started this. <sighs> and it's our duty to finish it. Sonny. No! Jack can't go. He's not ready yet. He, he needs to rest. Let me go, Sonny. <laughs> no. Y your dialysis isn't done yet. Snake. He's not ready yet. Life. 
a slave to someone else's will. I'm a shadow, one that no light will shine on. As long as you follow me, you'll never see the day. cool <laughs> riding riding for mortal combat look at me My fight. My destiny. <laughs> Dr. Emmerich? Mei Ling. I got the results back. It's official. What happened to our accent? Moses Island. We lost Metal Gear Mark II's signal along the way, but the ship was headed in the direction of Shadow Moses. This is a picture of the island taken by a civilian imagery satellite. The sea line is rising due to global warming. Have you heard that the entire Fox Archipelago is about to slip into the ocean? The surrounding islands have already been evacuated. 
Liquid's arrival there can only mean one thing. He is going to use Rex. That's how it looks from here. All the Metal Gears after Rex were embedded with system IDs. Then what about Rex? What did Washington do with it? The nuclear disposal facility on Shadow Moses hasn't been touched since the incident. That was nine years ago. The president of Arms Tech and the DARPA chief were killed, and the Secretary of Defense was arrested. By the time the Shadow Moses incident was over, there wasn't a single person left there who knew what took place. It was as if nothing had ever happened. The data was either falsified or erased, so no traces would be left behind. We were exiled to desk jobs for the same reason. Rex and the Nukes should still be where they were nine years ago. Untouched. A forsaken island. A haven. Well, I'd say it's more like a forgotten island. <coughs> and it's sinking too. I thought I'd never go back. <coughs> It'll take me a while to get there, but I'll be backing you up from aboard the Missouri. She's the only ship in the fleet still able to move, since it was decommissioned before the system was put in place. And Hawaii's not that far away. Otacon, you're not wearing your glasses anymore. Oh, uh, I... yeah. <laughs> I switched to contacts. <laughs> we rendezvous at Shadow Moses. Naomi thinks he looks handsome. We're getting the MGS1 crew back together. Submits to heaven shall live. He who defies heaven shall perish. Uh, they removed her accent, which I is time for my past. Which is interesting. They did it to Naomi as well. Rex Naomi originally had like a British accent. Born from my research. Let's go. Nice. Otacon wants to cleanse himself of his sins from the past. That's so cool. Go on Shadow Moses with Mei Ling, Campbell, Otacon, and Snake. <clears throat> and then Rosemary <laughs> instead. Um, unfortunately not Master Miller, who's not Master Miller, but is actually Liquid! So, that's that's cool. So, we're going back to Shadow Moses. <laughs> and the global warming theme, like having the global warming theme come in there and having the island actually be sinking is a really neat touch um, as well. But yeah, really interesting because, yeah, Mei Ling's uh, accent is gone. Naomi's accent from the first game was originally British and then it's now like more of an American accent. Same with Mei Ling. I don't know if that's like, uh, if they've done like a story reason for that. Um, I don't know if they've done a story reason for that or not. Um, whether it's just because the amount of time that Mei Ling's had on... There we go. Wait a minute, oh, oh, wait a minute, hold on a second. Because, yeah, Mei Ling, you know, had you know, more of an accent. And, yeah, it's just like, it's weird where it's like maybe because you spent time on the ship, maybe the accent has faded. And then same, maybe the same thing with Naomi. But it's um, it's it's weird to hear the voices be, be different. Um, I'm playing... <laughs> what? Dude! What is, what has, I can't activate the, I can't activate the codec. What is happening? I don't have gray hair, so they haven't just put old snake in PS1 graphics. Oh, this is a throwback. Is this some sort of like, is old snake uh, watching the old mission back or something? Is this like a training thing? Like a, a VR mission? It's exactly the same. 
This is wild. What is happening, dude? No music, no intro, just a loading screen and then Metal Gear Solid 1. I can't even remember how to control the game. Is there still a gun here? No! There's no gun in the truck. I thought I could grab him, but I can't. They get up pretty quickly. Oh my god. I have to remember how to play the first Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> okay. God, this is hilarious. I'm just trying to get a feel for everything again. Because I don't have the option to just kind of like... I don't have the option to do my dodge rolls anymore. I just go straight down into prone. Yeah, this would be a situation where they're like emulating the original PS1 game like exactly as it was. Which is funny because like... I've just been playing Uncharted 4 and Uncharted 4 in the beginning does its thing where they have Nate play Crash Bandicoot. And I just, I just find that, I just find that really funny, um, that it like, the fourth game in the series likes to pay homage to like, Whose footprints are these? one of the first games that they've ever made. In this case, it's like the first game in the Metal Gear Solid franchise, and you play Metal Gear Solid the same way that Nate was playing Crash Bandicoot. Whose footprints are these? Okay, this is just a treat though. This is just an absolute treat. Infiltrate the same way that I infiltrated in uh, in the first game when I played. <laughs> oh, it's just cut out again. What a, what a l neat little moment. What the hell? <laughs> they just want to make you re relive that little bit of nostalgia. That's so funny. It's just like, it's really weird because it just is nothing but a black screen when that was loading in. And then it looks like it's loading out. Oh, <laughs> that transition though. Everything all right, Snake? He's flashing back. Having that dream again. We're here, Shadow Moses. Yeah, so he was dreaming it. We're not entering via an SDV this time. Face camo, MGS1 snake, a camouflage skull cap that uses the same kind of technology. Re resemble a polygon model of snake from MGS1. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. So he, he like dreams, he like dreams about it. That's so funny. Dreaming about Shadow Moses in the original PS1 graphics. That would have been such a absolute troll <laughs> twin sons if they made us play through shadow moses <laughs> in this game in the metal gear solid one graphics what a way to pay respects to the first game This is as close to the Metal Gear Solid 1 remake as we'll get so far. <laughs> we'll just put on Young Snake face camo. And then we can pretend that we're in a Metal Gear Solid 1 remake. Are you all oh. right? Not as old as I... Just yeah. <laughs> Not as young as I used to be. Have to hurry. Not much time left. Meet the Mark 3. Yeah. It's our last replacement, so try not to break it. Who, oh, me? 
never. One more thing. I don't see anybody around, but there are unmanned sentries patrolling the area. Be careful out there. Shadow Moses in the snowfield, dude. The heliport is to the west of there. Dude. Head west and find that heliport. This is so cool. Alright. Crazy buys at Driven Shop today, baby. Meanwhile, we've got like so much money and we haven't actually bought anything. <laughs> I'm gonna buy out the whole shop at this point. Except for this guy, which is 800,000. Matchlock gun. There's so many that I could buy. I'm more excited to kind of go through this stuff and experiment with everything else um, when I just kind of play through and experiment on my own because that's what I tend to do after I finish games that I play on the channel is like I'll just like replay parts of them myself and like experiment. Also I plan to like replay all the Metal Gear Solid games that I've played at some point but differently so uh, with you guys so that'll be fun to actually like experiment with more of this. I'll see what sort of situation we're getting into, but I, I want to buy the sniper. I know that that sniper would have come in handy against uh, Raging Raven. So let's check this face camo out. Oh, look at our burnt face. Can we have our... Um, we can't have our face not burned come back. Nice. There's Raging Beauty. MGS1, dude. <laughs> How cool is that? That's so funny. There you go. This is our uh, this is our Metal Gear Solid One uh, remake. There we go. All right, Metal Gear Solid One. Oh, there's stuff behind us. what the solid eyes for baby I'm full of them anyway I'm only gonna run around in the first area with the, with the young face camo just for the sake just for the sake of it so we've got unmanned sentries right is that what's around here Yeah. Oh, they're geckos, yeah. Let's have a chat in the in the codex, it's been a little while. You know what to do. You know what to do, boy. You've been here before. Snake, as I'm sure you're aware, Shadow Moses Island is an extremely harsh environment. Staying out there in that raging blizzard will take a severe toll on your psyche. More than ever before, the success of this mission depends on you taking the proper measures to maintain your psych. Don't forget that. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. You go around. probably see me through the uh, through the snow Gonna start playing the end music of the first game. Yeah. Did.
the ration is in the same spot. The chaff grenade's in the same spot. Dude! Crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. That's the lift. Dude. Alright. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, the way out to the west actually went nowhere. I was actually going to the place that I should have gone. I thought I was going <laughs> in an optional direction. Probably best to actually check the bigger map then, hey? Dude! This is insane! Look at this place! Oh, there's a way in. They got some surveillance stuff in there. How do I uh, get up here? RPG-7 ammo, yeah, I'll take it. Nothing under here. And the music fades. What a beautiful little tribute there. I don't know how I feel about going in uh, through the hangar doors because of whatever the hell it, those things are. Like rolling little sentry things. All the surveillance cameras have just frozen and fallen down. Keep playing the music, guys, please. And there we go, we can enter in there. I don't think I can... I don't know how to... Ah, uh, can, um... Can the Mark III get it? I don't think so. Stretch your legs there, buddy. Because he can, like... He can, like, get stuff, but I don't know if he can, uh... Yeah, I don't know if he can actually do stuff, though. Yeah, what's in here? Let's do a bit of recon. Oh shit, okay. That didn't do anything. We just gotta avoid them when they're scanning, I guess. Snake, you're about to send the uh -huh. out of range. Okay. Watch out! Got the tank in the middle and everything. I think we should go in from the Oh, and that door's open as well. That takes us out. I think we should start upstairs. Oh, the weapon is under the... Nice. The weapon's under. Cool. Hello. Alright. Let's do it. Uh, weapons. The Mark 23. The SOCOM pistol. <laughs> That's cool. So much, so many items, dude. So many items. All right, we're going upstairs, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it that way. Infiltrate. 
the way that I know how. And we can take off the uh, take off the face camo now. Forgive me for taking my time, but we need to take this in because this is this is absolutely beautiful, and I want to make sure I soak up every detail, except for that ration, because I can't drop down and get it. I don't think anyway. All right, in we go. Snake, snake. This is McDonald Miller. Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots of them. Oh. No. Ah, uh, this way. Bonus DP. That is so damn cool. We all know that it wasn't you, Miller. Liquid! Dude, recreating Shadow Moses in MGS4 graphics is absolutely crazy. Literally as close to an MGS1 remake as we'll get at the moment. iPod music, that's why we take this way. I could probably get some stuff at, um, oh yes, Warhead Storage. That's such a good song. Give me, give me, Alexa, play Warhead Storage. It's really not, it's not playing it. Hold on. It is playing it. No, I'm not hearing anything. There we go. Now I'm hearing it. As we drop in. Got all the ravens around still as well. So they've still kept the cameras doing the same little motion thing that they're doing. They still do the same little motion, just as the original, but they've, they've updated the cameras. Oh, shit, they're on the floor. Right, they're right in front of me. Shit, there's so many of them. Okay, it's just alerted geckos. Dude, there's so many of them, what the fuck? Alright, hold on, guys, hold on. Just gonna wreck you all now. Oh. oh my god, dude! There's so many of them, what the fuck? What have I done? I'm on a combat high. Oh, get off of my face. Holy shit, dude. Nothing's changed. This is exactly how I played the first game. <laughs> Getting caught. At every opportunity. Oh! Get off of my face. Get off. How many are there? Just how many of them are there? Okay, I don't think the twin barrel shotgun is actually going to do anything. Let's change your weapons up. 
because we are stuck in a terrible situation at the moment. What's got the most ammo? Uh, this stuff. Give me my M4, baby. It's on my back! <laughs> These things are so interesting. Christ, dude. Are we done? Have I cleared out all of this goddamn base? <laughs> no, because they're still in alert phase. My god. There'll still be a bunch downstairs, probably. That is that is so funny to me. Alright. So if you get caught, it's much worse <laughs> than when you get caught in the first game, because there's only a couple of soldiers. Instead, it's an army of rolling robots that are all just chilling out. That we just need to be careful with. I can put a silencer on, um... I can put a silencer on my M4, I'm pretty sure. Let's chuck it on. The customization is so cool. How do you... Like, how do I explore these places without alerting them, to be honest? I have to alert them if I want to actually explore everywhere <laughs> and get all the items. Now going on onto the ground floor. This would be another entry, I think. This is from the um this would have been the entry from that warehouse outside. Um I wonder if there's anything that I can get this way. Just gonna have a quick look. See if we can find anything in here before we move on. Noodles, baby. It's exactly what I needed. While we allow this caution to go down. <sighs> we might get another flashback if we go down this way as well. Potentially. Or not. Okay, so that's this area. Okay. Well, in that case... What is... No, that's a different one. Hold on. Oh no, that just connects us through those. Okay. Okay, that just connects the different rooms. Oh, that means we can get into the closed one. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do it. Oh my god, please. You can do it, buddy. Okay. What's in here? I'll accept, graciously. I need another ration after my mistaken doors. 
How fun is it to just to walk around Shadow Moses again? But with like these controls, camera wise, so good. Can I get the, uh, can I get the warhead storage to continue? Yeah. How good is this track, though? It's insanely good. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? Solid snake? The legendary Solid, solid snake? snake? You? You? Hey, don't worry. You'll land back on the once you meet me. The reality is no match for legends, I'm afraid. I unlocked a cargo door for you. Where are you? Yes. How cool, though. Um, how how interesting is the evolution of uh, of Snake's voice as well, right? Like, Snake's voice in MGS One is actually pretty much perfect. Like, it's so good. But then in um, in MGS2, that's when that's when it starts. It starts getting a little more, um, a little more memey. In terms of what he decides to like, how he says words and how he speaks, and then in MGS4, it does make sense for it to be quite raspy because he's old Snake. But yeah, um, you can see David Hayter's voice evolution, um, which is very interesting. So I think. Um, his MGS1 voice is is incredible. It's it's so well done. Now we don't have we don't have a mine detector. Now if I'm gonna get if there are still claymores out here, I'm gonna laugh. If I get wrecked with a goddamn claymore, I swear to god. Alright, we've got the RPG ammo. <laughs> yep, I swear to god, if there's mines in this goddamn canyon. <laughs> can the um can the solid eye pick them out? It should be. It would pick them out, so I think that's okay. I don't think there's claymores here that'll run me over. The ravens is. Look out! Run, snake! Oh shit! The geckos were camoed. Oh shit! Ah! Alright, yeah. Cool. Surprise Gecko. Oh, the... Dude, the original Game Over theme when you're in Shadow Moses. I needed to die to hear that, so that's just part of the experience. Oh my god. That's fucking cool. Okay. So we're also going to get... Oh, uh, yeah. Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Who are you? Who are you? One of your, One of your fans. fans. That's so cool. Uh, so I love you get bonus DP when you walk through certain areas and get the uh, get the flashbacks. That's fucking amazing. Like honestly, um, just for the sake of these geckos, I'm thinking. I'm thinking we equip our big explosive boy. Ooh. I love that we have a javelin that we've just never used. The grenade launcher actually might be decent. We've got 28 of them instead of the RPG. I mean, we can always buy ammo, but... That's instead of using the grenade launcher attachment on the M4, actually. So what I might do is I'll change the M4 attachment to the shotgun. Cool. And then how do we change the ammo type for the M4? Yeah. Fire the shotgun with R2. Okay, yeah, cool. So that's how you do the alternate fire. Let me quickly grab this stuff. 
I like how they're like mimicking like a boss fight encounter in here, but just doing it with the with the geckos instead. Is it possible to navigate this area without alerting them though? That's the question. I can go without getting that ammo. Ooh, this ammo though I need. And it's gonna wake this guy up. Snake, look! A gecko! Oh, but it looks like the drive is dead. Maybe it's out of commission. Nope. Nope. That's a trick. That's a trick, Otacon. How could you trick me? Because you'll walk past it and it'll wake up because it did with the other one. We're not going to tempt fate. We're going to get this ration. And we're going to get the hell out of here. Nuclear warhead storage, baby. This is the coolest shit. <laughs> oh, so fucking cool. Next area, nuclear warhead storage. <clears throat> it's exactly how I remember it. I can remember the points that I was playing uh, the, the first game and where I decided to like end each episode and when we started and it's like how crazy is that? I think it's, it's I think it's only been four or five months. Like I played the first game like four or five months ago now. Like, not that long ago, really. And I've, I've really done quite a speedy job at going from 1 to 4. Meanwhile, while all of you who watch and played this game when it came out and were fans of the original when it first came out, like... I'll put a pin in that. I don't see any enemies around here. Okay, we'll go through the door all the way at the back. Otacon. Last time around, we had a few complications and wound up going through the commander's office in the basement. That's right. I remember now. But there's no need to go all the way down there this time, right? The back door takes us straight where we need to go. Good point. Okay, then. Let's get to the back door. Yeah, but what if we want to go downstairs? I'm going to check. I'm going to, I'm checking it out. It's interesting that Otacon says he remembers now. I'm assuming that maybe it's because he was briefed on Snake's whole operation. And he remembers based on that. Because we didn't get Otacon on our side at this point. He was still, you know, just hanging out, doing his own normal stuff. Peeing his pants in the... Um, peeing his pants in the locker while we fought Grey Fox. So, I don't want to go straight through the back door, man. Yes! Nice. We need to check out this entire area. This is why it's going to be a lengthy, a lengthy episode. Because we're going to be checking out Shadow Moses Island as much as possible. Soaking it up. Can we take it? Yes. Yes? <clears throat> Otacon, the elevator's not working. No. The panel lights are dead too. Looks like the power's out. Still, there's no need to take the elevator, is there? Hurry up and head to the gate at the north end of the building. Why does he keep referencing? It's like, there's no need to do that. You don't need to go down there. Can we restore the power, or is it too cold in here now? Can't believe it, they've literally, like, they just decided, hey, let's just leave this place untouched. Let's just leave it untouched. No one will come here and try and utilize all these old warheads. No one. Can we take the elevator or not? I guess not. But that, well then, if the power's out, we're not able to use this door either. Huh? <clears throat> that door is locked. How do I open it? Security is shut down altogether. You can't release the lock without activating it. You'll have to log in somewhere. I've got it, Snake. My old office is close by. With the power on, you should yes. be able to unlock the door from there. 
And if you check the facility records, we can find out Rex's status and who's been in and out. You remember where it is, Snake? Uh, I've not seen it all yet. Just to be safe, I'm marking it on your map. You old geezer. <coughs> Snake, the password is 48273. Think you can remember that? I told you, I'm not senile. Yet. Yet. Amazing. Cool. So we've got to turn the power on, which means we can. Which means we can take the elevator. Um, so he's marked on our map. So... How do we change, um... It won't let me move around on the map. How do we, uh... There we go. Ah, that's why. Because there's a sub-map. Okay, so I still need to go that way. Okay. Snake, I've checked the APU on this floor and engaged the generator. Energy output is low, yes. but it should be enough to power the elevator. Awesome. Try okay. the elevator and see if it's working. I was looking for something to do, so thanks for telling me. I love that you can also have the codec be used in real time, like something that's I pointed out in the original, uh, in the first episode, but like it's so good that it doesn't have to pull us into a codec screen every time. Now we can call the elevator. I like that um, Otacon's able to kind of have that influence. Dude. That's to open the doors, so we can only go, we can't go to B1, we can only go to B2. B1, I think, is where the First, go down the central hallway. Don't worry, it's not electrified anymore. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> Everything's broken. Yep, we got the, another rocket launcher. Getting everything. Oh, this is so good because this we blew this up. We blew this up. That's why it's that's why it's exploded. Because we had to guide the missile through the whole hallway. Claymores. Can we open these doors? No. Can I shoot him open? No. There's probably nothing in there then. Or well, we need the appropriate access. <laughs> Everything looks exactly like I remember it. Yep. Except for that wall way in back anyway. I still can't believe how much damage you caused in such a small space. Ah, the switchboard. Nailed it with a remote control missile to shut down the electric current in the floor. The guidance system in those things takes up so much space, it hardly leaves any room for explosives. Didn't make much of a bang, huh? Hardly. Switchboard's still intact. You're right. The wiring past the switch circuits could still be live. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna get shocked if I walk on this floor, am I? No need to worry. As long as you don't turn the current back on. I wonder if there's a reason that we would need to turn it back on then. 20 years history. I want to listen to the, the 20 years uh, music. But I don't want to take up all of that extra time with you guys listening to it. So I'll probably end up just listening to it on my own. Okay, we can't go through that way. We'll, we'll, st we'll focus on the mission, but I think I'll, I'll spend some time listening to the, to the music at some point. Yeah, B1 was where Meryl was, like, undercover as, like, a guard, right? And the guards were, like, going around and doing their rounds to go to the toilet. And then if you go through that door, it takes you to where Psycho Mantis was chilling out. Oh, I guess we could have just crouched under there, hey? Through to the office, baby! Where we fought Grey Fox. Yes! And he- and all of these dead soldiers in the hallway. This was Psycho Mantis is doing. 
No, it wasn't. Was it? Ah, uh, no, I can't remember. No, it was it was Gray Fox. I'm like, I'm getting confused because this is the area where you have both Gray Fox and Psycho Mantis doing stuff at the same time. But all of these slash marks definitely communicate that it was Gray Fox. Did all right. Cutscene time, and then there's some items that I need to get. Otacon having his look around memory lane here. That's where I pee myself. <laughs> it is where he peed himself. <laughs> Your, your syringe snake, yep. You got Grey Fox's blood on the floor as well. <laughs> it's a five digit number. Because I completely forgot. <laughs> What happens if we failed it? Maybe it would just get us to try it again or something. 48273, maybe. I knew that that was going to come up. <laughs> I knew that we were going to be like, hey, what's the password, Snake? <clears throat> if, they, if they were like using Rex and liquids at Shadow Moses right now, wouldn't the, totally wouldn't the power be on? Unless maybe they have are in a separate section that has their own little power, like all the way in the actual where Rex is held. This is the room where we first met, huh? Yeah. Police Nord's poster on the wall. <laughs> yep. It's not conjuring up any Pleasant memories, is it? <laughs> like when you pee yourself? I was being attacked by Frank Yeager. Yeah, I remember. If you hadn't shown up when you did, uh, it gives me the shivers just thinking about it. <laughs> Snake, you saved my life. Naomi hated them for what they did to Frank's body. But it was me that crippled him in the first place. She must have hated me too. And it was paramedic Dr. Clark who's responsible for that. Like, wild. Dr. Clark put him together. We love the interconnected surprised. storytelling. I blame myself too. I helped develop Rex. That's why it was so easy for me to believe her feelings were genuine. But she was only using us to atone for her sins. So what? What did she do to us? You forgot already? She betrayed you. She stole your blood. That was all. It 
should have been over and done with in South America. Why'd she join us afterward? Well, I... I uh... She has us come rescue her, and then she turns around and goes straight back to Liquid. Mm -hmm. Why would she do that? I don't know, Snake. But it looks like she's still with him. Something to do with that USB, I think. Because that's what I thought she was going to do, like, plant something on the, the Nomad, put it in a computer, but then she put it away, so I don't know. The records show some recent activity. Look at this. It's an image taken a few hours ago by a surveillance camera up ahead. Vamp and Naomi. Naomi. Oh, look at the little frost in my moustache. <laughs> That's such a neat touch. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Here. And from what we've gleaned from the security records, it can only mean one thing. They're headed for Rex's old underground hangar. I finished rebooting security and released the locks. The door on the first floor ought to open for you now. Uh, 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 amazing. <laughs> Almost makes me nostalgic for the days when you needed a key card for every door. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. Nine years. All you really have to do is reinterpret the old technology in terms of the new. Getting old isn't all that bad, you know. <laughs> Let's get going, Snake. God damn. This is a this is a touching I finished unlocking episode. the door on the first floor. It should open now. My rations are full. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Great box. Ridiculous. You yourself in Zanzibar land. Yes, yes. He should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? What? They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? I think they've re-recorded the dialogue for all those flashbacks because uh, Grey Fox sounds different and Naomi sounds like she currently does and then maybe like it's just David Hayter putting on like just toning back the snake voice to be more like MGS1. Otacon always has sounded pretty much exactly the same, so has Campbell. Like they've been able to maintain their voices like flawlessly. It really makes me think that they've re-recorded the flashback dialogue as well whenever it's having stuff like that because um, Cyber, like I noticed it the first time and I didn't know, I thought I was going crazy, but it seems more like it in this one that um, the Cyborg Ninja Frank Yeager voice is done by... Gecko! We've got Gecko! Hold on, I'm talking. Um, is done by... The same dude who does uh, Liquid's... No, sorry, Ocelot's voice. And it's really weird, because, like, uh, it's been pointed out um, as well that in the Japanese version of this game... The voice actor for Liquid um, had his, like kept his role, but Cam, I think it's Cam Clark, who does Liquid, didn't come back for this, and they've used uh, Ocelot's voice instead. It just makes so much sense for them to have. It would have been so cool if they actually had Liquid's voice, or even if they like did a blend of the two. I don't know, but. I mean, I'm fine with it, because it is Ocelot's body, so having Ocelot's voice, but then Liquid just inhabiting it is is fine. But it just completely kind of takes away from 
uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 when Liquid's voice actually would come out in parts, so it's it's interesting. Um, I'm assuming we have to now electrify the floor. I'm gonna electrify the floor because that's what this was for. How do I how do I make it happen? All right, I don't think I can. What if I, like, blow it up? Can I, re can I reconnect the wiring to electrify the floor? I'm speaking to the wrong person. You have to break through that enemy ambush, right? I know you can do it, but you've got to stay calm and act rationally. Got that? Ah, wrong person again. Hi, it's Rose. Hi, it's Rose! It looks like your psych gauge is okay for now. Right now, you wait. Otacon. Can I wire the floor? Do you have a weapon that would work against those gecko? Sure do. Okay, great. Use it to get them out of the way. Okay. I was wondering if it was able to electrify the floor. Jesus Christ, mate. Maybe this guy. What is happening? Dude's just like not even going down at all. He's bleeding. There we go. Now your leg's down. Reload time. That reload time, though, didn't really pay attention. Two chaff grenades, but let's let's try one. Will it work? Yes! Oh Jesus! What the fuck? Okay, chaff grenades work. Telling us that we're supposed to fight this thing and take it out, but my god, is it not working? Snake, remember how I said a little while ago that those electric yes. wires might still be live? Yeah. Wait, if the wires are live. Maybe you can use the Mark III to. Oh, the Mark III. That. That makes so much sense. The Gecko probably have decent surge protection on their electronic components, but a good long high voltage bath just might fry their organic parts. Go ahead and send the Mark III over to the switchboard. It's worth a shot. The Mark III makes so much more sense, dude. So much more sense. Like, silly me. Alright, cool. Now... You're chilling there. I need to get you... Here it comes. Uh, forget that you've got to stretch your legs, don't you? There, Turn on the current in the floor. Press the action button in front of the switchboard. What 
are you doing? Dude, what are you doing? There we go. Okay. Nice snake. Amazing. I'm glad that we could actually reconnect it, because that's what I was trying to do from the beginning. I was like, oh, can I do it manually? But no, I needed the Mark II. <laughs> Wasted a bunch of ammo, but it was fine. Well, we're not walking back that way. <laughs> I know, I know, you're tired. I kind of want to go back and get the ration, but the floor is now electrified, hey. So, never mind. I've got enough. First floor it is. We don't, we don't get to go back to the, uh... Don't get to go back to the... Psycho Mantis room. And go out that way. Okay, Snake. Take the stairs down and go to the north door. I'll open it for you with the Mark III. Open it up, boy. Someone's using the elevator. I guess it could crouch down, but what the fuck? Gecko using the elevator. Oh man, more gecko. Three minutes. Mark three is totally defenseless while working on the door. You'll have to distract the gecko so they don't spot it. Dude. Oh shit, it's right underneath me. Hey, I'm right underneath it. So I didn't need to distract the gecko. <laughs> Get crushed by it. Hey. Gonna distract it for two and a half minutes. It's got a light. Perfect way to distract it. Just run him around, run him around the nuclear warheads. <laughs> Can't the Mark II just go invisible? <laughs> Stupid ass. Stupid ass gecko. when I had 10 rations and then I accidentally uh, used it all. What's it? Okay, Snake. 
open now. See you later. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Sorry about the legs. <laughs> God damn it. Next area, baby. Snowfield and communications tower. This is so wild. Alright. The same wolf sounds, dude. The very same. Oh, the SVD as well? Okay. So it's not like, Snake, you have to run all the way back and get the sniper. Why is it giving us a sniper in an open area? And there's wolves. Oh my god, it's gonna be... Well, because I know that the the logo is the, the wolf, like the beast. Are we supposed to snipe it? Are they going to give us a sniper wolf segment? Are they going to give us a sniper wolf segment with the wolf? <sighs> oh, crack. I think I might buy the sn the Trank Sniper then. The Molson. If we're gonna do something that's sniper related. <gasps> Crying Wolf, yeah. Crying Wolf. Yeah. Dude. Oh, it's happening so much more frequently now. Holy fuck. What? And frogs as well? against crying wolf first thing first things first is this is so cool all right we're gonna buy um, this guy And then, what is that, 762 millimeter? I need to see if I can buy that ammo. This one, yeah. 
just buy a lot. <laughs> we got all the we got all that we need in terms of DP for it, so I'm fine with that. Cool. What I might do, actually, is for these guys, instead of tranking them, I'll take them out with another sniper. Let's do the, let's do the SVD, because we picked it up, we can actually use it, and then I'll buy some ammo for it as well. Um, what does, uh, let's have a look. SVD uses these, so let's get some of these. Wonderful. Okay. Gonna do this sniper fight how it needs to be done. Actually being a sniper. Can I zoom in? I don't think I can. Sniper wolfed. What are you doing? Ah. just like killing them until we lure out like the actual wolf I think it's no that's still a person what the fuck oh shit Okay, as soon as we're, uh... Oh my god, okay. Okay, how do we... What, what, what the fuck are we doing here? Okay, hold on. Let me focus up. What the fuck are we doing here? Jesus Christ. <gasps> Something's coming! I see, what, I see what we're doing here. I see what we're doing. Is she like panting? Where's Wolf? Let's 
C4. Oh. And Claymores. That's if we're trying to take her out lethally, though. Which we're not. I guess we're tracking. Yeah, we're supposed to be tracking their big steps. Can I take the tower as an approach, though? Dude, where are we going to find the action figure if I take her out, Trank? Like, where am I going to find that? Otacon. She seems to know exactly where I am, even in this damn whiteout. What the hell is going on? Infrared, maybe? No, you're wearing Octocamo. It wouldn't be able to read you. Snake, do you see a pattern in her attacks? Anything that gives you a hint? Right. Now that I think about it, her attacks have been coming from downwind. Which means... Damn. She can smell me. Okay. Amazing. Tracking <clears throat> in this wind. Just by your scent? A St. Bernard can find and rescue the lost hiker in the middle of a blizzard in the Alps. If that beast has an olfactory sensor as keen as a dog's, it's not out of the question. Then what do we do? Octocamo doesn't do anything to mask your scent. All I can do is try and guess where that thing's going to be. Try to move downwind. Can you do it? Either I do, or I don't. Okay, then. Good luck, Snake. Interesting. The beast is crying. In psychology, crying is thought of as a way to freely express and release feelings. That beast cries and cries without stopping. There must be some immense sadness in her, the stress of which is tormenting her mentally and physically. Crying is the only way she can deal with it. There you are. You know exactly where I am. I missed. I missed. Kicking up a storm over there, eh? We could go up in that tower as well. There you are. Oh, from here. And she's gonna run around and move again. Dude, what a cool sniper fight, though. Ooh, XM25. There she is. Ooh! Oh! What the fuck? Where did she run off to? Might have to switch towers. It gives away her location with her breathing. Hmm. 
Oh shit. Oh, she's just summoned a bunch. Okay. Okay, summoned reinforcements. That are all closing in. Oh shit. <laughs> they climbing up. Oh my god. What's that sound? The sound of your death. One more, dude. Oh, fuck. Oh, what the fucking rail gun. Holy shit. Faster, snake. She's still out here? She's run off somewhere. So many corpses that I need to. Ooh! Ah! Holy shit. There you are. Ooh, through the tree. Okay, through the tree. I see. I get it. I get it. Through the tree. Nasty. There you are. Oh, I'm shaking because of my stamina. Oh, my stamina, dude. God, I'm shaking so much for some reason. I wasn't doing it before. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Alright, try me. That's it, baby. That's what we needed. Damn. 
Out you come. Time for me to get out the old shotgun with the V-ring. I have to look around for the action figure now. Cool if she she uh, would have been cool if she looks like Sniper Wolf. Stop it! Stop crying! Please! Please stop crying! No one's. It's a gecko. I was so scared. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh no, it's not a gecko, it's um the wreckage of the the wolf. The Let me change up my weaponry here. We'll go for this guy. Get out our special twin barrel baby. And do it this way. Now I need to leave you alone for a second lady. So I'm looking for an action figure. I would assume maybe it would just be in a close vicinity of where we've, uh, you know. There it is. Didn't take long. Hey lady, just give me a sec, I've got to get your action figure. Fuck yeah, crying wolf. Oh, I can... Ah! Oh god! It's locked. There's she's... No she's quick! Stand your ground. Get off! It's your only option. Oh god. Get out of here. I love babies. I love the sounds of crying babies. Come on. 
There we go. In the chest, baby. Get trained! Get trained! Best way, best way to go for these tragic ladies. Put them to sleep. Sleepy time. Goodbye. Now give me your face. A bit gratuitous there, Kojima. Oh hell yeah! I got. I think literally gonna have a rail gun. Fuck yeah! Drebin will be pleased. Give me the backstory on this lady, Drebin. I know you're about to call. Nice. Your snake. Mm. I finished laundering that real gun you picked up just now. Knock yourself out. It's on the house. Thanks. Thanks. Time for another bedtime story, Snake. This one's about crying wolf. You don't need me to tell you there's whole nations in Africa tearing themselves apart in the name of ethnic cleansing. Well, she was born into that environment. When she was a little girl, her village was attacked by rival armed factions. Her parents and siblings were slaughtered, and she was left a refugee. She took her last surviving relative, her baby brother, and ran as far as she could away from the war zone. One day, they came across an enemy unit, so she took her brother and hid in an abandoned shack. And then her brother started to cry. She knew that if the soldiers heard the noise, they would find them and kill them both. So she wrapped her hand as tight as she could around his mouth. As the footsteps gradually went away, she came back to her senses. Her brother wasn't crying anymore. Horrified, she pulled her hand away, covered in sweat and spit. He wasn't breathing. They say wolves eat their own pups when they die. She was spotted wandering through the thick of battle carrying her dead brother in her arms. She had visions, too. A wolf walking alongside her. Every night, the wolf would howl and cry, just like her brother did that day. Eventually, she made it to a government-run refugee camp. But by then, her brother's body had rotted away. The camp was crowded with refugees like herself, and little children like her brother. Day and night, she was tormented by the cries of babies. The wolf that followed her heard her sorrowful screams and answered. He made his way around the camp, and one by one, he silenced the children. She tried to stop it, but she was powerless to stop the wolf. A few days passed, and on the eve of the enemy's raid, there wasn't a child left. The adults who survived were torn up pretty bad. Of course, there was never any wolf in that camp. She was the one who killed those babies. But she couldn't bring herself to admit it. She couldn't bear the thought of herself going from one baby to the next, howling like a wolf, snuffing out their little lives. And she never did, even as Crying Wolf, a lonely beast forever stalking the battlefield. Snake, fighting with you made Wolf finally accept what she'd done. She was cleansed by you. If the cries she heard of children on the battlefield have been silenced, it's because of you. You ought to be proud. Three down, one to go. All that's left is Mantis. But you should know, Snake, she's been controlling all the other beasts. She's the beast of beasts. Don't let her get her hooks in you. I won't. See you around, Snake. Dude, Mantis. Railgun, dude. Press the R1 button while charging. Three levels of charge. The longer the weapon, the greater the muzzle velocity. That's cool. 
face camo for crying beauty, dude. Hell yes. Pushing onward through the communications tower. Welcome home, Wolf. Oh, not a con. Love Bloom on a battlefield. Can it, Snake? I love the, I'm loving the boss fights in this game. Boss fights are so cool. All right, let's move. Face camo addict, dude. Let's check it out, shall we? Crying beauty. What a gang. Face camera was so cool. Blast furnace. Hold it, Snake. Time to change the disc. I know, I know, it's a pain. But you need to swap disc one for disc two. You see the disc labeled two? No. Uh, no. Huh? Oh, great. <laughs> PlayStation 3. It's a Blu ray disc. Do a layer two. No need to swap. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, what an age we live in, huh, Snake? Wonder what they'll think of next. Because <laughs> this is the point that you changed to disc two on the original. What a fucking. Oh my god. Oh. The best is yet to come. I literally just missed that iPod music. This is why I have this solid eye on. Oh my god. That's amazing. Like... <laughs> Snake! Don't forget to equip disc 2. We got wolves out here now, they're just chilling. Look at this! Hello. Are we friends? Hi. Let me pet the dog. Pet the dog with triangle. So cool. I honestly think the music in Metal Gear Solid 1 is probably just the best of the series, at least for me so far. I love the music in Metal Gear Solid 1. I love a lot of Metal Gear Solid 1. Like, that game blows me away. The, the voice acting is some of the most voice acting, uh, some of the most impressive voice acting I have ever heard. And that's from a PS1 game, and that, like, because it still holds up. It's some of the most incredible, uh, incredible voice acting I've ever heard. We're just going to listen to this song, see if we can get some items along the way. And then proceed. I don't know how far away I am from the end of the game, but like, I I gotta say, this is legitimately, at least right now, my favorite Metal Gear Solid game. 
Like, this is my favorite Metal Gear Solid. MGS4, MGS3, MGS1, then MGS2. But I love them all. It's not like two's bad, or one is, like, like, also bad. Yes! This is what... This is what we're looking to see. Dude. That's what I was trying to find. I was like, being, are there going to be any other flashbacks around here? Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, like... They're not bad. Like, if anything, MGS3 and MGS1 are almost tied for second place. Because the gameplay of Metal Gear Solid 3 and everything else, the personality of Big Boss, like, the story, the writing, everything is so fucking good. And, like, with MGS1, just exactly the same. Like, the how impressed and blown away I was that a game like that could be made and put on a PlayStation 1. Like, it, it absolutely, absolutely blows me away. So... Um, yeah, MGS4 is, like, currently my favorite. Currently. I just, I've just had a blast. Everything has been fucking amazing. Um, and then MGS3, MGS1 are, like, tied for second place, and then MGS2 after that. And then, like, and then, and then Portable Ops. And again, Portable Ops, not a bad game. The gameplay kind of lets it down, but I really enjoyed Portable Ops. I just, there's not been a Metal Gear experience that I haven't liked. You know? There's been parts where I've complained, <laughs> but that's my own fault. Doesn't mean, uh, it doesn't take away from the fact that I absolutely adore this whole world. And I just, I love, I love being able to share it with you guys. Oh, the music! And this is just... This isn't even on the iPad. I mean, the iPod. Zoom! <laughs> Fucking iconic, dude. Oh, just the fact that I can remember all of this, because we're about to head down into where we fought Raven. Where he got picked clean, picked clean by them. Oh, this is the coolest shit, man. Um, yeah, it's been a really incredible, like, four or five months of playing Metal Gear Solid and going through, going, oh shit, um, going through the story. Like, oh. and it makes me, it makes me so excited to continue playing the, the games that are going to come after this. As well as playing the ones that I've already played, uh, again, on, like, harder difficulties. Um, like, having the ability where I actually know what to do. Like, it'll just it'll just be a really good experience all around, I think, to, like, replay the games and then see, see what I can take in on a replay. Because I'm in love with this game. Dropping me stuff. Oh shit. What are they called? Oh my god, they really just. <laughs> Holy fuck! Wait, wait a minute. Let me get the grenade launcher. I'll deal with you myself. I kind of want to use the, uh, the Mark 23 with the suppressor, but there's no human enemies to like bother using a suppressor against. The railgun, though. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> That's more like it, baby.
they all dropping like the GSR. Still more? Okay. Full 5 7. I actually don't mind having a couple of segments where I actually just have to fight some guys for a while if I get caught, because, like, the combat is so much fun. And I like to kind of sprinkle in, like, just good combat in between a lot of the stealth that I'm doing as well. on that combat high right now. <laughs> How we doing guys? We almost done? Still another one? You're the last one. I still hear more. Oh, it's on my face. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> and at least the blast furnace isn't actually, you know, active at this point, so we can actually walk around this area on the floor. Much easier to navigate. All the ravens. Yeah, I remember crawling through this area where it was like heaps hot and stuff. Remixed Metal Gear Solid 1 music. Incredible. And it's just the ravens flying around. Okay. Zoom. It's not opening? That's weird. I know I disengaged security back at the lab. We should have been able to get to Rex's storage hangar from here. I've got it. If memory serves, there are casting and rolling facilities directly beneath the furnace. You should be able to pass through them to a drainage duct that leads to the hangar. How do I get there? There should be a special service elevator in the northwest corner of this floor. Northwest corner. Got it. Cool. Which is what we were looking at before when we were getting uh, destroyed. Hang on. Uh, I went the wrong way to go about this. <laughs> Can I not climb up there? No. Okay. I shouldn't have dropped down. What's up here though? Hold on. Make sure I get everything. Oh no, this is where I came from, isn't it? Yep, I climbed over. Yep. Got the the crane that's no longer no longer moving. So this is the service elevator. Alright. 
We're going straight to B5, baby. Snake. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? She might be a spy. To kill me. Is that all you cared about? Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. Great Fox. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge. But I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. I vowed revenge. She vowed revenge. Interesting that it repeats that line. But there's Cam Clark's voice, right? So, I, I don't know whether they re-recorded them, re-recorded some of them, or I'm just going crazy. Um, but yeah, so, because they used Cam Clark's voice as Liquid. Well, sorry, as Miller. <laughs> Master Miller! The designs on the geckos are incredible. So dark in here. wasn't even really worth it to, for those items, to be honest. Here we go. Casting facility. Alright, we got those as well as geckos. Alright, this is going to be a lot harder. Because otherwise we're not going to end up getting into a fight with all of these guys while trying to avoid geckos. I don't know if the rolling guys can only see us if they if they've got their little scanning lasers out like that, or whether they can just see us normally. What's the map look like in here? Um, okay, so I need to just I need to go around to get to there. Okay. Try and try and be stealth boys here. I think I can climb up this way. Ooh, there's a javelin there.
Ah, so they can see you. Okay, they can see you without scanning the thing. Ah, that's annoying. I was doing so well. That gecko is just going wild and just destroyed everything. Shit. <laughs> All the geckos are here. Spotted, oh, I think one of the small guys spotted me. One of the small guys spotted me. Damn it. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. This is a tough one. There's fucking geckos everywhere. I love that they hold a gun. Them holding a gun is just so fucking funny to me. pinned in by the geckos here. I'm just trying to lose them. Uh, that's not, this is not the way to go. Come on, get out of here. Yep, not the way to go. Oh. <laughs> God, no! Dun dun dun! Snake! Okay. I'm I'm not gonna be able to go up against all those geckos because I'm trying to sneak past them. Like I could I could definitely go and use all of the the explosives that I've gotten. The javelin and stuff, but like, I don't want to. Still here. Oh, this is. Oh, there's a shortcut here. Oops. There's another way in. Awesome. Alright. Let's do this, but better this time. Let's not get caught by the Roly Boys, because that's what set us back. Oh, 
<laughs> I just barely get kicked through it. That was rough. That was rough. <laughs> My first attempt was the best. But after that, it was like, nah. <laughs> Seen by everything. Now, we're getting close to... We're getting close to the area that we fought um, Raven in. Finally, it's just up ahead. The oh my god. Just a little bit further. Stay on route. Oh shit. Snake. What the hell? <laughs> Did I just fall down a hole? <laughs> Oh no, this is the this is the part of the game where I die a lot by making stupid mistakes. There's a hole in the wall, god, a uh, hole in the floor, god damn it! God, that's so funny. All right, let's look where I'm walking. Ugh. Incredible. I got distracted by the things dropping down. Oh, they come out of the... Oh my god, they're coming out of the... Floor. Jesus Christ, everybody. Oh my god! I'm... Mutually assured destruction. There's so many of them! What the f... What the fuck? Dude, leave me alone! It's impossible to stealth with you guys around. Oh my god. My god. The amount of DP that I'm getting from this though. More? More! Can I just farm DP for the rest of my life here? Jesus Christ. They just keep coming. My god, guys. Okay, hold on. This is not gonna go the way that I want it to. I'm not gonna be able to clear this area out, am I? Actually, we might be good now. They just really just release like an overwhelming amount at you. And there's two holes in the floor. Jesus. <laughs> oh, the nostalgia of this area, right? We had all of the all of the turrets ever that you had to use the chaff grenades on. Here we go. So many, like, rocket launcher type guns that we just have barely even used. Probably would be useful for the geckos. Rex is on the floor above you. Use the lift. Underground supply tunnel. Almost at Rex, dude. Hello, Otacon. Oh, jeez. Yep. Hop on, Snake. I'll send her up.
of the lift my bane. I'm ready. I'm so ready. <laughs> Going up to Rex, dude. So I'm assuming this is where Liquid will be chilling out. Yeah, because we wrecked it mostly. Has it already been shipped? Hang on, I'll check. I'm afraid so. Unfortunately for you, the railgun is no longer here. The fuck is Naomi doing? Naomi. This place will be your grave, as my queen. Wishes. The suicide gecko are on their way. Soon, there'll be nothing left of this place. We've been had. All gone. We've been had. Snake, I think I might be able to get it working. I just need some time. Hurry. Get Rex working. Um, Naomi, what are you doing? I'll leave the rest to you. Naomi. Excellent. You'll amuse me until they arrive. Dude, vamp. Okay. Okay. Alright, vamp. Dude. I'll take care of Rex. You take vamp. Kill that monster. Get Naomi back, Snake. Please. Why, we, why do we want Naomi back? She seems evil as hell. We're drinking you, baby. You're going to sleep because you won't fucking die. Oh. So cool that we get to fight Vamp. I was wondering if Vamp was going to be a fight or whether he was just going to be like this little cutscene dude that would do flashy stuff. Gotta say, this is much easier than the MGS2 version. MGS2, dude just like took us for a goddamn ride. <laughs> With all of his dance moves and going underwater and everything. You know, match for it, the, the legendary hero, baby. It was Raiden's inexperience that made it difficult. <laughs> Certainly not me. He's not even throwing anything at us, like no throwing knives or anything, buddy. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> He's getting a bit faster. I'm, res I'm like, the shotgun would be too easy. That's why I'm trying to use the pistol. Is there a vamp action figure that we'll get? We'll get the vamp face camo? Oh, now you're throwing knives. It's a bit too late for that. Now I've. You've, oh god, maybe it's not too late. Hold on. Is this your best? What? Oh god, you're almost done. <laughs> Is this your best? I was teabagging you. Why did you get back up? Okay. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. He comes back up again. We have to do it again. Alright, you know what? I've taken you out once with the pistol. Let's get this twin barrel going. Oh, I have to reload it straight away! Like <laughs> we're off to a good good we're off to a good start. Yeah, baby. Hey, 
this. Oh. Yeah, bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god! Dude, he's accurate as hell with those things. This is why we have all these rations. Oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry for mocking you earlier. Whoa! I just took, like, all of him out. What the fuck? He just lost all of his stamina in that one shot? What the hell? Ooh, he doesn't know where we are. Right, now he does. Does he not know where we are? Oh god, I'm gonna get stuck here. Huh? Where is he? How much time do you need, Otacon? Oh god! Because Otacon, I'm I'm running out of time myself here. Ah, <laughs> dude! Oh my god! I'm getting wrecked. I have no re time to recover. Jesus. There we go. Do you just have to shoot him a certain amount of times and then it just takes out his, uh... Just completely takes him out. Did that do anything? No. Okay. Sleep mine does nothing. Stun grenade does nothing. Oh god. Nope. I'm gonna run out of. Uh, I'm gonna run out of rations. He's just charging at us like that. Is this is like as long as the nano machines are charging through my veins, are we supposed to be doing something else? So we're just taking him down over and over. Make him pay, Snake. Do it for me, for Emma. Oh, I'm trying. Snake, I don't know much about Vamp, so there's not much I can offer you by way of advice. But you do have my unconditional support. Okay. Don't let him beat you, Snake. Thanks, Rosemary. Do whatever it takes. Just make sure he stays down this time. Get Naomi back for me, please. <gasps> Wait a minute. Make sure he stays down this time. Um. Uh, 
Um, hold on. To use it on others, capture them using CQC. It suppresses nano machine activity, right? Open the item window, press the OK button to use. To use it on others, capture them using CQC and then press the triangle button. You know, does does he know where I am? I think he does. Yeah, no, he doesn't. Cool. Damn it! Time to finish this. Enough. Punished. Death. Okay, so if we can capture him. In CQC, use the nano machines to suppress his. Use the syringe to suppress the nano machine activity. No, why'd you take him? What? Why did you? Damn it! That means to throw you down on the ground. Stuck. Enough. Punished. <laughs> okay. Without throwing him to the ground. You can't, you're not allowed to touch him. Trying to like the syringe seems like the best bet because it suppresses his nano machine activity. Your best. Is this your best? <laughs> oh, God. oh no! Don't stand on me. No. Uh. Trying my best here. This is such a fight. How do I inject you with the nano machines, dude? The syringe. up. <laughs> let me fucking, let me get the goddamn syringe inside of you. 
I'm gonna restart this, obviously, because of how poorly I've done it, but I'm just trying to see if I can get it. Time to finish this. You just keep going down. I know, you keep saying. I'm trying to put a syringe in you. Otacon, tell me how I can do this. Whatever it takes, just make sure he stays down this time. Get Naomi back for me, please! I feel like I've got the right idea. I'm just not executing it very well. I'm out of rations, so I'm probably just going to die at this point. <laughs> Because I felt like if we snuck up on him, but we it's it won't let us grab him. trying. Maybe we can't trank Vamp and we just actually have to like take down his actual health and kill him instead. Because that's like to make sure he stays down this time. I'm trying to see if we can trank him but I don't think so. Let's try again. <laughs> I think we- I don't think we can trank him, so I'm going for like the lethal option. We're going for the lethal option and then if I equip the syringe... If I equip the syringe... Maybe I have to- I don't know, like I'm trying to see like what would be the best sort of time to... What would be the best sort of time to get him up? like to grab him because you can't grab him when you're sneaking because it just like it just throws him down so we're going for the we're going for the kill and then equip the equip the syringe and suppress that goddamn nano machine activity Come here, buddy. Nope. Yep. Hello. Hello. Nope. Yep. Hello. Um, no. <laughs> if, if you... Settle down! Settle down, vamp. We almost got him down. I'm gonna get you out in the open where I can actually do something. Come at me. Whoa! You're quick. Where are you? I'm down here. Get down. Okay. Yes! You did it, Snake! What? The the timing must be so awful. Maybe it was because he died up against a wall. Uh, gotta change my weapons anyway, because I'm running out of ammo for this one. I could just buy more, but this uh, this gives me the opportunity to at least experiment with some different weapons. Everything's 
that I could be using is goddamn ID locked grenade launcher. I mean, the grenade launcher is an idea, but I think it's a bit of an overkill. Should I use the railgun? <laughs> What's the railgun gonna be like? Oh, yeah. It's like a one hit. Now, can I grab this dude or not? Come on, come on! Triangle! Yes! Get suppressed, bitch! Okay, finally. Nice! Thank you, Naomi. Ah. Like the rest of us. Never. But can you kill this mere mortal? Oh, I fucking hope so. Oh, not the geckos. Not when we were about to get our sweet, sweet revenge. Ooh, baby. Oh, it's the suicide ones. Oh my god, this is so poetic. It's like poetry, it rhymes, baby. We're getting saved by Raiden in the place of Grey Fox. Oh. Bitch. Snake. Fuck yes. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. <laughs> kept you waiting, huh? You ready for this? Sonny gave me the go ahead. Oh, Raiden needs to be the one to kill Vamp, dude. Oh, more gecko. How about it, undying man? Care to die too? Sorry, but I can't die just yet. Then kill me. <laughs> Snake, this one is mine. Yeah, you fuck yeah. Those gecko at bay. Otacon, we're gonna buy you some time. <laughs> He's in the cockpit. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then Raiden and Vamp fight on top of Rex. The same way that s the Snake and Liquid do. Then, let us duel with blades. Ah yes, the Dick Blade. Ain't nothing quite like the Dick Blade. I have like the uh, the Metal Gear Solid One soundtrack, the Escape s song, like stuck in my head when that that fight on top of Metal Gear when I was doing that with uh, Solid and Liquid, like fucking <laughs> so tense. All right, let's shoot some geckos, shall we? Hang on, I need to pause. What the fuck is this split screen? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck? Got to keep them back. I'm sending you data on where to put a bullet through their brains. Just like that, Snake. Alright, cool. Dude, we have to we get to watch oh this is really confusing. How can I watch their fight at the same time? I can't.
how much time am I supposed to be buying them here? Honestly. Hey Dribbin, can I buy some railgun ammo please? What does the railgun take? I don't know if we can. Oh there we go, railgun ammo. Yeah bitch. Oh that's expensive. Um, let's get like, yeah. Let's get like enough. Oh they give me like ammo for the, uh... ah, they give me ammo for something else. Hold on. Let's like take this opportunity to use some of our big boys. Like this one, right? Anti-tank, anti-tank, surface, oh, that's surface to air missile. Um, maybe this one. And then let's buy some ammo for it. Hell yeah. Let's give it a go. I love that Vamp and Raiden are having a fight, but goddamn, this is the most confusing way to give it to us. Damn! Here they come again! Hang in, Dude. snake! Don't give up! What? What's happening? Above you! They're coming from above! Okay, this is not working. Otacon doesn't actually call out to me this time because he gets blown up. Alright. This is... Don't use the rocket launchers. The rocket launchers is not, not a good idea. The railgun, however... Go off with the railgun. Those are suicide, Gecko. They blow up and they take us with them. You've got to keep them back. I'm sending you data on where to go. Put a bullet through their brains. Yeah, if I like fully charge it, it takes him out in like one hit. Yeah, fully charge it, baby. Oh, even half charge, actually. Okay, this is better. This is better. <laughs> I can do this one much better. So it's always much easier and less chaotic the second time around when you actually got your brain like wrapped around the situation <laughs> and you're like, oh yeah, this is how this works. I'm trying to see the- I'm trying to also watch the fight between the two of them. Oh shit, I accidentally fought. Come again. Hang in there, snake. Don't give up. Oh, I missed. Railgun ammo, baby. Damn it. 
Satisfying as hell. Oh, Ryden's just got stabbed in the back. Jeez. Oh, uh, I probably should not have gotten that close. Jesus. Didn't expect it to take out that much health. Far out. Dude, Ryden's about to get wrecked. It's not looking good for Raiden. Come on, Raiden, wake up. God. No! I got run over! Oh my god! Dude! Oh my god. So one of them decided, oh, I'm just gonna run you over while the other one goes to blow itself up. God damn it, man. Oh yeah. Let's try this again. You've got to keep them back. I'm sending you to onward. Put a bullet through their brains. Focusing. Nice snake. Watch out. God damn it. Charge it up, boy. Damn! Here they come again! Hang in there, Snake! God, the railgun makes this so good. Just like that, Snake. I know. I know. Oh shit! Above you! They're coming from above! Snake, be careful! Come on. Come on. So wild. No, don't move. Where the fuck is it? Oh, you went over this side. Ah, oh, buddy. Yep. Yeah. Yep, I'm trying. Ah. <laughs> I ah. Just chill there for a second. Okay. All right, you. Oh, 
fucking coming in. See, god damn it. Anyone else? Meanwhile, oh, yep, yeah, anyone else? Dude, is Raiden gonna, about to get taken out over here? Come on, buddy. You got. Oh! Fuck yes. Finally? Fuck yeah, Raiden. Fuck yes. That's what I like to see, my guy. Snake, get out of the way! Oh yes, dude! Nice. Rex. This thing might come in handy after all. Wow, he got Rex working. Holy shit. Cut off his head. His natural healing abilities were enhanced by the nano machines inside his body. But after so many battles, he's finally reached his limit. Doctor is my pain. Naomi, Sonny asked me to tell you something. What is it? I cooked them right. I see. Finally cooked those eggs, right? <laughs> no, I can't save you. Yeah, fucking don't, please. God damn it, Naomi. Let him die, please. You have to trust me, Doctor Emma. Give this to him. What? Revenge, but to end his suffering. Best news I've heard all day. This doesn't change anything. Why? We can't erase the past, nor can we forgive it. And so the only thing we can do. Snake. Liquid's down below us. He's stolen the Patriot system, slipped out of their sight, and taken their Ark. Ark? A warship, unfettered by land, law, country, or network. The only place where they are truly released from the shackles of the Patriots. The place where they can be free. Outer Haven. <laughs> Outer Haven. Yo! 
Liquid plans to launch the nuke from that ship. Snake. You have been given life so that you may fulfill your purpose. When all of this is over, you'll have no choice but to accept death. We are given life only so that we can atone for our sins. Your life was created for that very purpose. We all must atone for our own sins. We must not pass them on to the next generation. We must not leave them for the future. That is your true fate. One that even you cannot defy. Naomi! What have you done? Vamp and I, we are the same. We're living corpses. Our bodies kept barely alive by nanomachines. Then you... Cancer. Ah. I shouldn't even be alive right now. The nanomachines have kept it from progressing. But there's nothing more they can do. With the nanomachines gone, Time will unfreeze and begin to flow again. What are you saying? Goodbye. Hell. Oh. Oh, don't! Oh. 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 Otacon's love life is just tragic. My best to Sonny. No, you were supposed to be her mom. Don't do it. Are you crying? For me. Sniper Wolf, who he thought he loved, EE, e., his own sister, and Naomi, who when he thought he was ready to love again. Otacon's life is actually tragic, dude. And like, at this point, all that he really has left, or that he's clinging onto, is Snake who's literally dying due to the rapid aging. Snake. And then after that, all Otacon has is Sunny. I haven't lost everything yet. I've still got a job to do. 
That's right. We need you. If only they could do. If only they could do their secret handshake through the thing. <laughs> do your secret handshake. Time's running short, so I'll explain as we go. Pay close attention. I'm listening. I'm listening. Dude, finally we've got Snake in a Metal Gear. And it's Rex, no, no less. Just crush Vamp for good measure. Step on him. Just, just in case. You ever heard of Double Tap, guys? Dear God. Well, there you go. Escaping with Rex, dude. What a fucking cool sequence. That vamp fight, though. It's a shame I don't think we're able to tranquilize him. Because it wouldn't let me... It wouldn't let me grab him at all. Like, maybe we could have... Maybe I just needed to work out the timing. But, like, yeah. It was much easier to... Like, when I was actually taking him down, like, his health, that's when, I, like, Otacon was like, fuck yeah, you're doing it. So, I guess... There wasn't like a trank option there, is what I'm assuming. But like that moment of realization of like, ah, this is what the syringe was for, is is so good. Snake, we have to get oh okay, oh okay, okay, okay. Oh, we're in Metal Gear Rex, dude. <laughs> dude. Check it out before the next one. Oh, we can just like screw with the legs, dude. Hold on, he said that is available in briefing. Hold on, life gauge and sight gauge. Um, Rex controls. Use the left stick to move, the right stick to move the camera. Weapons with the R2 button, L1 button to enter aiming, R1 to launch an attack. Triangle under the right conditions to perform a special attack. Use the left stick to move, right stick. Oh no, that's it. Yeah, cool. I love that attack is just on the... It's just one page. They couldn't just make the text a little bit smaller. Or just, like, go over to that side. Uh, so we have a, a laser, a missile, and a Gatling gun. Hell yes, dude. And we also have, like, a, a normal... Like, a leg attack. Dude! Fuck yes. Oh, is the laser, like, the... Oh, you have to charge it. Oh yeah, I don't really know. That, that laser takes too long. Everything else, however, my god! <laughs> oh dude! This is so fucking cool. Oh, we had limited. Oh, it reloads, okay. Oh, what? What's he doing? Raiden, what are you doing? Is Raiden just like attacking like nearby? This is so fucking cool. <laughs> Yo. I'm at half health though. I've got the iPod. <laughs> at least I've got the iPod. Holy shit, dude. Can I make it? My health is going down like crazy. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I might not have done this the best. If there's an opportunity to get more health, that'd be good, but I doubt it. enemies? No? Oh no, we're out. Cool. Port area. 
Dude, we're actually controlling a Metal Gear. Like, that's fucking cool. Finally, after all these games, they're like, let's put you in the Metal Gear. <laughs> He's just doing backflips. Right, and get back on the Rex, please. Activate that handbrake, baby. They self-destructed. This is where we um Run. He did not just get He did not just get crushed. This is where the first game ended. Metal Gear Ray. Outer Haven. Dude, that's Ray, right? Rex vs. Ray, holy fuck. This is where. Ray! It's not over. Not yet. So, where Snake and Liquid have their face off at the end of MGS1. Where our fates were born. They then have a Metal Gear battle. Snake. They have a fucking Metal Gear mech battle outside where Liquid originally died. Unfortunately, we can't have the poetic ending of going off into the Alaskan um, horizon because it's all fucking melted for global warming. Dude, we're fighting Ray. Holy fuck. <laughs> This is so... This is fucking incredible. Where's he gone? Oh, we can charge the laser past level 1. Level 2. Dude, alright, we can... Ch oh, this laser is actually decent. Okay. Oh, he just fucking... he's out of here. This is the coolest fucking shit, dude. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'll oh, shoot down the missiles, yeah. True. Take it down. The missile launcher is empty. Wait for it to reload. No. Look what I do. Oh shit. Oh. What the fuck happened there? Kick him, yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Step on him. Step on him like a bug. Oh shit. Hold on. No. No. Oh shit. Now he steps on me. Okay, never mind. Counter attack. Fuck. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me alone! Shit. 
Alright, this laser's kind of fucking me up. Hold on a second. How do we dodge? Fucking this up all, the, all of a sudden. Oh, we... Ah, I press... Okay. Oh, dude, this is so fucking cool. It's triangle, triangle, bitch. Oh, what? Did I miss my opportunity? I think I did. Oh my god. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. Oh. Dude. I got wrecked right at the end there. I got wrecked. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do that again. Let's do that again. Let's this. this is so fucking cool. Charge this laser up nicely. Fuck yeah, dude. There's not enough power left. Wait for the energy to recharge, Snake. The machine gun's overheated. Let's try this again, buddy. Where is he? Yeah. Ray leaves itself wide open yeah. after you dodge its attack. Keep dodging and wait for your chance to counterattack. Yep. I got it. Which way? Yeah. Come on, bitch. I got a laser for you. Yeah. There's not enough power left. Wait for the energy to recharge, Snake. Fuck him up with everything. The missile launcher is empty. Snake! Wait for it to reload. Yeah, I'm fucking you Stop up, bitch. Quick, get close to so I have to get close to it and press triangle when he's like when he's close. This is fucking fantastic. Oh! Yes. Take him down! Triangle! Yes! Step on that, dude! Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Not really, actually, sir. Just get health back. The missile launcher is empty. Wait for it to reload. Come on, liquid. Incoming. <laughs> Quick. Ray just opened his head. Who oh, did he? Ah! Yes! Step on that bitch. Get fucked. Get absolutely wrecked, Ray. Oh my god. What a f <laughs> giant mech battle time, dude. Oh my god. I'm blown away. <laughs> Holy shit. Rex still got fight in it, baby. Oh, shit. No. 
No! Not the Mark III. Where's Liquid? Out he comes. Brother! Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's just mirroring what happened to him. Sorry, but that won't work this time. At the end of MGS1. <laughs> oh, you couldn't have climbed down. Liquid! Liquid! Fuck it, I'm just gonna limp after you there. What the fuck is he doing? Oh, yeah. Out of Haven. The goddamn Mount Rushmore of the of the legacy of Big Boss on it. This is the liberty we won for ourselves. Out of Haven. And with this weapon, I will destroy JD. Then everything ends and everything begins. It's the railgun. For you, brother. You'll stay here to mark the Zion's watery grave. Let me get another shot at the those faces. Die, snake! Oh, sh there you are. Come on, Raiden. No. Oh. Ugh. Sonny, forgive me. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, Raiden. Ooh, baby. He really just did that without hesitation. Woo. Cut the arm off. Oh shit! <laughs> He's literally just gonna run us over. Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? How strong you gotta be to put a dent in it? Oh, Raiden! Snake, get the fuck out of there! Don't let that be in vain. Federal Hall. There were all these tourists around you. 
They were asking me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. We started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. The next thing we knew, the tourists had gone away. And a week later, I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence. That night, we went up to the top of the Empire State Building. It was so beautiful. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. It's like, oh, the light goes out, dude. That's like, that's two cyborg ninjas. That's two cyborg ninjas that have sacrificed their life for Snake at the hands of Liquid. At Shadow Moses. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Worthless fossil. Raiden's dead. What the fuck? No! Right in. Right. Sacrif sacrificed himself like Grey Fox. Four. Jesus. My God. Well, there you go. That was Act Four, all in one go. My absolute God, that was incredible. Shadow Moses. Oh my God. That is absolutely blown me away that was uh the game just keeps getting better though that's the thing like every single act has just gotten much much better than the last and the first one was great it's just started off so strong and just boop. i love this game holy shit man that was absolutely incredible uh guys thank you so much for watching the longest episode yet three and a half hours of, of, of about that mark absolutely absolutely incredible longest episode on the channel yet hope you appreciate it hope you love it i've been having an absolutely amazing time if you guys have made it this far to the end of this thank you so much for watching honestly i really really appreciate it uh my god guys you've been amazing watching me through this so far i hope you subscribe to me if you stick around for this long <laughs> guys i will see you in the next episode of Metal Gear Solid 4. Is it gonna be the last episode? I don't even know. Everything is looking insane. S Raiden's, Raiden is gone. Snake is almost gone. Naomi and Vamp are gone. Like, and Liquid flies off. Well, not really flies, but zooms off in his outer haven. And that's insane. So guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Unsure if it's the final episode, but the next episode of Metal Gear Solid 4. Thank you so much for watching.